More unexpected than red, Elizabeth Taylor's coral lipstick was the perfect complement to her unique violet eyes. It's a trend that comes back again and again, proof that Taylor's legacy will never grow old. I'm gonna show you how to get the same look that will last forever. I'm Kaylee McAdams, and this is beauty icons Elizabeth Taylor. I want the edges of my lips to look seamless, so I'm using just a little bit of foundation around the edges of my lips. This will help prevent the color from feathering or bleeding. I like to apply the lipstick straight from the tube for this look. You really want to work the product into your lips. You don't have to get the perfect shape with this when you apply the lipstick. We're going to go back over it with a lip liner, so just apply it in the general shape and make sure you really work it into the lip. I chose this bright coral. It has a little bit of orange to it, a little bit of pink to it. I think it gives a really pretty modern take on that lip look. Now I'm gonna choose a coral lip liner and go back over it to tighten up the look of the lip. This is where you can finesse the look and really tighten up the edges, get your cupid's bow right, and make sure you fill in the inner corners. I draw around the edges so that the lipstick and lip liner will blend together. I want the final look of this to be matte, so I'm going back over it with a fluffy brush and some loose powder. And then I'm gonna apply another coat of lipstick, blot, and go back over it with powder again, just to get that final look. You can make any lipstick look matte like this, just apply a little bit of loose powder on top. A coral lip is really fun and it's a great easy way to punch up your look. All right, so this is my Elizabeth Taylor matte coral lip. I would love to know what you think. So tag me, Kayleen McAdams, and style.com. And don't forget to subscribe to style.com's YouTube channel. And so